It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Amanda Nunes and Valentina Shevchenko. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go, round one. They will do it again, Amanda Nunes versus Valentina Shevchenko. And when we sat down with Valentina on Thursday, she is hell-bent on getting a win against the Lioness Amanda Nunes. Yes, yeah, she feels as though she needs it. She has to beat Amanda Nunes, not only because Amanda is one of the greatest female fighters of all time, but because Amanda has those two very close wins over right. her. And she feels that she's a few of oh. Can't take pictures now. Oh, she's hurt. And she misses with the left punch there. Oh, straight right. Just missed on the front kick there. Shevchenko gets in the clinch yet again. Nice punch by Nunes. Shevchenko gets the takedown. Could be big here. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. Straight right hand, but she misses. Nunes gets touched by that kick there. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Valentina Shevchenko. One, two there by Nunes. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Shevchenko's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice punch lands over the top. Takedown defense holds up, and they separate. Nunes gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Shevchenko's kick is blocked. Oh! That's a beautiful jab by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. If you fight behind such a beautiful jab, eventually you drop the right hand. Good night. What a punch. It's a nice back and forth action here. Oh, counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. All right, so she lands another leg kick there, and now you're starting to really see visible damage on the other side. I'm not sure how many more of these she can take. She won't take many more. You'll start to see her fall to her back, try to engage in the grappling, because she will not be able to get any weight on her front leg, which will make her stationary and be in very much, and be in a lot of danger to get caught with something hard at the top. Lands flush with that right hand. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool, kind of shaking. All right, here we go now with our second round. Amanda Nunes. Versus, of course, Valentina Shevchenko. Good stick. Well, Amanda Nunes has the hands going early. The oh, she's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the go. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. So 55 total strikes have landed for Valentina oh. Bolchevchenko. You can never know what you're going to see. Oh. take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, she blocks the punch. And she's back in the clinch. Level change. 
leg. Finish the takedown. Great job. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. She throws her jab and then she sticks her chin up in the air when she jabs. She has to keep that chin tucked when she throws that jab or kick. A lot of her technique leaves her chin flying up in the air. Oh. And she's getting up there. Do you see the similar blow of this fight this way? Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook. And it has her opponent hurt bad. Oh, big knee. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC. Finding the range. Oh, some scrambled eggs. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Nunez gets caught by the elbow. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transitions. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Nunes. Now she's in full mount. Final minute. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. Game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it. The big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Switching stances here. Oh, nice punch there by Shevchenko. Such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. <laughs> she's thrown tonight. Her opponent to beautiful placement on that hook. What a that'll do it! Oh, wow, that was nasty. <laughs> that was a good stoppage by the referee. She was not effectively defending herself and the opponent was doing some real damage. It became a dangerous situation. I think it's the right call by the official, and she will live to fight another day. Well, a seminal, we said it. 